more examples of solving equations with either logs or exponents, exponential expressions. So here we have 2 log x equals log 25. I want to put this, uh, condense this right here. So using the power rule, I'm going to write this as log x squared equals log 25. And if you have two sides of the equation, each of which are logs with the same base, then you can just from this step say that x squared equals 25. And so x could either be plus or minus 5. And substituting this back in, I have to be careful again with the negatives. Notice that I have two solutions. One is x equal 5 and the other is x equal negative 5. I can plug 5 in here, but if I try to plug in that negative 5, I can't take the log of a negative number. So this one is out and this is the correct solution. Here I'm going to condense logs again. Here we have a difference on either side of the equation of two natural log functions. So when I combine that, remember the difference of logs gives me the log of the quotient. So this is going to be the natural log of x minus 5 over x plus 4. And the right side, because of that negative, I'm going to get the natural log of x minus 1 divided by x plus 2. Now both sides have the natural log function, so I can just assume that x minus 5 over x plus 4 is equal to x minus 1 over x plus 2. And I'm going to cross multiply. So that gives me x minus 5 times x plus 2 equals x minus 1 times x plus 4. And I'm going to go ahead and distribute. We're using the FOIL method. I get x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. And the x squareds are going to cancel. So when I subtract x squared from both sides, those are going to go away. And I can subtract or add 3x to both sides. And then I can add 4 to both sides. And I will have negative 6 equals 6x or x equals negative 1. But if you plug in this negative 1 here, notice I'll have negative 1 minus 5, that's negative 6. I can't take the natural log of negative 6, so this is actually out, and there are no solutions to this particular problem. Here, I can combine these because they have the same base, so this becomes 5, 2x plus 4x equals 125. Remember you add the exponents when you multiply and this becomes now 5 to the 6x. 125 is just 5 cubed. So 6x equals 3 or x is 1 half. And finally I can write this 9 as 3 squared so we have 3x squared minus to the power of, minus, um, I'm sorry, 3 to the power of x squared minus 12 equals 3 squared to the power of 2x. Multiplying exponents, I get 3 to the power of x squared minus 12 equals 3 to the power of 4x. The bases are the same now, so I can go ahead and equate the exponents. That gives me x squared minus 12 equals 4x. Subtracting 4x from both sides, I get x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. And I'm going to go ahead and factor. This becomes x minus 6 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x could equal 6 or x equals minus 2. Now i got to check though. Actually with these, this is an exponential equation. I know that they're both going to be the same because the domain for exponential functions is all real numbers. It's just logs where we have to check. So 